Let's now go to the fourth startup, Doctor Anytime from Eleftheria Zur the Beach. Okay, Doctor Anytime is the marketplace that brings together doctors and patients with online system. It's really hype nowadays in Greece. Okay, you're ready? Your, start, your time starts now. Hello, I'm Eleutheria and I'm uh, the co-founder of Doctor Anytime. People do a Google search today for practically everything. This is the case when looking for a doctor, but the search results are something like that, which is uh, quite basic and leaves them, them with a lot of questions, like, is he the right doctor for me? What is, uh, what is the cost per visit? Uh, doctor Anytime in all this is the solution because practically is the, the way to ident identify the right doctor for you and uh, book uh, your appointment online instantly. All you have to do is fill in three filters, area, insurance and um, and specialty. Then the system will return a list of doctors matching your criteria. By clicking on doctor's name, you can find all the info you need from doctor's profile, studies, background, uh, the cost per visit, insurance affiliation, everything. Name it and we have it. Having identified the right doctor for you, you click on the most convenient time which you can find in doctor's profile and there you go, you have your appointment instantly, anytime. The benefits for the doctor through Doctor Anytime is, uh, first of all, convenience because they have a private pra practice working 24-7. We also build their image, uh, communicating in a very professional way out there, their experience and expertise. And all this leading into attracting new patients in their private practice. Uh, some, uh, our target group is men and women, uh, age 26 plus internet users. Uh, we, our go-to-market strategy is based on two pillars. First of all, driving fast awareness through advertising and PR, and driving trial, a trial through des a design of uh, some targeted campaigns. Uh, our market uh, is uh, doctors, uh, 50,000 doctors in Greece uh, receiving 200,000 appointments of cost uh, 30 euros and uh, actually, uh, uh, sorry, uh, and, and uh, our target uh, market share is 5% uh, in this market. Our revenues come from doctors and some advertising, a subscription of doctors. Uh, and our key, comp uh, key competitive advantages versus our competitors, uh, which are mainly directories, are first of all that the, the patient can identify, can find the right doctor for him and familiarize with him without even meeting him, before even meeting him. And of course that we, a simple uh, search online, we, tran we transmit it in an appointment instantly. And versus me to services, we offer a very uh, user-friendly uh, website and a very a, go, a, a robust go-to-market strategy. Our, meet the, our uh, team consists of uh, people with a huge uh, experience in the field of expertise, uh, each with a very diversified uh, background. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, Leferia, for the pitch. <laughs> so, I'll start with Arnaud. Great. It's interesting to see so many healthcare-focused companies. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's obviously telling you how, to, how people are viewing the sector. But my question is, obviously, I can, I can see it being helpful to the user, your, however your doctor is paying. There seems like there might be some added cost for the doctor in terms of integration of the systems and all these things. He's paying for it. Um, <laughs> It, what is, apart from just the advertising and, and whatnot, what is the added value? Or are you looking at adding, do you have a, other ideas on how to add more added value to this? For, added for value your, for the doctor? For the doctor, yes. Okay. First of all, in this, uh, in this environment where the doctor uh, right now faces quite a lot of challenges, I'm not... Uh, 
I don't know if you're aware of the situation in Greece. Uh, the doctor right now uh, seeks uh, primarily to attract new patients in his private practice. Uh, and advertising in Greece is not allowed. So uh, the added value the doctor gets from us is first of all that uh, uh, he has a website, a mini website, where he can uh, communicate out there his uh, expertise, which is crucial for him. The second he, the thing is that um, we, have, we offer him support uh, regarding uh, appointments, something like um, a tele secretary. And uh, of course, that the doctor uh, has a 24 7 open business. So these are the, the basic stuff. In the future, there will be uh, more stuff, which I cannot reveal right now. But um, I think that even for a starting point, these are crucial for the doctor. And this makes them uh, to buy into this idea easily. Rebecca. I'm concerned about market size. I saw in your financials that year one, 200K, year three, mm -hmm. one million. Uh, is that enough? to attract investors, do you think? Uh, actually, uh, I don't know if you yeah, want to answer can, this. Jump in. Um, this is just for Greece. So one uh, million revenues is uh, a, a very conservative target just for the Greek market. The plan is to internationalize this uh, startup. So we are definitely going to expand. And one member of the, uh, of the shareholders is actually has strong affiliation with the Middle East. Uh, so th for us, it's actually an imminent target uh, going uh, international in the Middle East in 2013. Alexandra. Uh, you just mentioned international. That was one of my questions. Um, what is your competition like internationally? Is the databases again? Or? Yeah. Is the directories mm -hmm. for so the time being? So there's no in those mainly countries. directories in the countries we, we want the countries to go. You want to go. Mm -hmm. But because you're uh, actually competing a global market, is there any kind of service anywhere in the world like yours? Yes, of yes, course. Yes, there is. OK. So and it's quite big. Okay, so maybe you should mention that. <laughs> Who is that? Sorry? No, this is ZocDoc. It's, it's like a it's huge Zocdoc. company. It's like a billion uh, dollar company mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S. They're in the U.S. and actually they're looking now to expand in Europe. Okay. Uh, so, and it, whether the, if the question is how can we compete with them, we obviously can't. Okay. And in marketplace businesses, it's a first mover advantage. So the one who grabs the attention of the consumer, it's very difficult to, to get this attention from him. So yeah, that's why we're going to target the markets where we don't have competition like that. And actually, they don't have a very good health system, okay? Because actually, you uh, solve this problem. Uh, George. Thank yeah, you. two questions. Uh, you mentioned uh, expansion in Greece. I, I could see the system being useful in Attica and Thessaloniki. But do you think that in a small town of 20,000 people, yeah. do you think that this type of system would be of any use? Actually. Uh, this helps both sides. For, uh, for big cities like Patra or like Heraklion, yes, it could help. Also, we know that 70% uh, of the consumers, the patients, believe that when a doctor has, uh, uses new methods of communication, usually he uses new methods of uh, cure as well. Uh, so um, this helps the image of doctors even um, in, you know, in smaller cities. And one okay. more thing is that uh, the doctor could use the system to book existing patients. So even for a small city like Kalamata, let's say, a dentist can tell to his patients that if you want to book an appointment, I'm on doctor in time. Mm -hmm. So book it online. Okay. So my, my second question, I can see that many doctors in Greece, in Greece would like to use the system because we have over demand. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're looking for different channels. However, have you done a study where a Greek citizen would like to use this type of system? Do you have any hard evidence? Well, we've been in business for the last four months. Yes. Okay. And we've already been like almost day to day. Yeah, day yes. to day we've built an increasing number of appointments. Okay. Excellent. Harris. Uh, I definitely agree that, you know, now that the demand Actually, the power is on the, uh, on the patient side, so yep. the doctors yes. going to be part of it, especially the young doctors that come out of the, of the okay. schools. So I have the, the following question. The first one is, have you, what's, the, what's the loyalty rate? So let's say that I book the first appointment through Doctor in Time. Mm -hmm. Do you have any data whether, you know, what share of the follow-up appointments are again booked through uh, yeah. Doctor in Time? That's, that's the first question. Okay. And the second question is, do you see the same the same usage rate in all specialties, or you see more usage in le less sensitive 
specialties and not oncology, for example. And the third, so it's three, sorry, the third is the profile of the doctors. Is it typically the, the young or not really selling doctor, or have you also managed to attract or even, you know, provide incentives to attract the big names there? Okay, I'll start from the third question. Let me just answer ah, the first. Okay. Okay, uh, you can answer, answer the rest. So regarding the first question, we all, we, even though we are been on business for four months, we already see recurring, so people coming back and booking the second appoint appointment with a different uh, specialty. Need different specialty. Sorry, for a different doctor. Mm -hmm. So this is amazing. Uh, we, we expect that people would book uh, one or two appointments per year yeah, with a doctor. Addictive. Yeah. Yes. For is. the same doctor? For no, for different specialties. So no, the, the question same. is for the same doctor. So I, I go there once. Do I use it uh, again or I use it only yes, once? Yes, actually in four months it, it's a very small period of time to repeat a visit. We've only seen this kind of uh, visits. We've seen this kind of visits. For example, uh, last month where we had a campaign about breast cancer and we had the follow-up uh, you know, meetings with the appointments with the doctor. <laughs> this is where we saw that there is a loyalty and the Doctors are building loyal uh, relationships with patients. Uh, I will, is it okay? I will answer the rest of the questions, uh, starting from the third one, had to do with uh, doctors and, uh, sorry, we are attracting actually the target group of uh, doctors. Uh, the low hanging fruit for Doctor Anytime is uh, definitely new doctors, those that are opening right now their private practice. The, those are the ones that uh, will t benefit 100% from Doctor Anytime and we can see it. Of course, we have attracted big names of the market as well, who see other things and we con that uh, those people consider Dr. Anytime and South as something innovative that will enhance their image. Uh, now on your second question, uh, which was uh, about... Um, I'm afraid, how many uh, the and which so specialties are the most common? The specialties. Ah, yes. the no, the specialties question is if, uh, if the patients the use it for all specialties, yes. yeah. the, uh, actually, also the sensitive ones. I will answer this. 11 out of 45 specialties right now are making 80% of our business. 80. Okay. okay. Uh, just brief remarks. Uh, that this is what, uh, what we call the avalanche effect. Actually, we need good doctors and good feedback in order to get more customers. And this actually it's a closed feedback business model, which is rather smart. But to pay attention after one or two years, if some doctors try to get out customers and try to okay to approach them one to one, this is the only thing that the model does work. Does not work. Yeah, um, you are actually based on transaction, but you mentioned something very important that doctors are not allowed to be advertised in Greece. So many doctors are using social media. Yes. So I would, suggest, yeah. I would suggest that one excellent service for those 50,000 doctors, because you will get lots of data, transaction data, lots of data from customers. So add a very clever something like CRM, social media type of uh, uh, advertising channel as well. We, we are active in social okay. media, actually, okay. uh, in all of the social media. And we've seen that this helps a lot. And okay. we get this uh, feedback from doctors as well. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move to number five, just in the middle.